Welcome back to CES 2015 live on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Arches. We're at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is so exciting to be bringing you this coverage. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for sending us the feedback. Please keep it coming. Hit us up on Twitter at Be Terrific TV. Hit us up on Instagram at Be Terrific TV. Send to our hashtag cube. Upload your photo to Instagram of you with your favorite picture with your gear. Be Terrific TV stage is the hashtag that you put in when you upload the photo to Instagram. It shows up here live on set, and when we pick a winner at the end of the week, we'll pick the most intriguing photo, the thing that gets us going the most, that we enjoy, that we like, and you'll win that hashtag cube. Um, so, we've got Nikon in the house. Nikon, I love Nikon. Thank you, Michael. I absolutely love Nikon. I love your cameras. I love the DSLRs. I love the imaging sensors, and the lenses are phenomenal. Um, Which is great, because I'm here to talk about just those types of items. Oh, excellent. That's, that's great. This is going to work out. They're really good. I'm <laughs> glad I stopped by. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a couple new products to announce here yes. that I'm really excited about. Um, we shoot a lot with the Nikon gear. Uh, we, we've done all sorts of great stuff, including I think we were the first people to ever use DSLRs in a live workflow like this um, and use uh, Nikon specifically. They were the D800s, and we, we, we did uh, the first thing we did with them live was we had four of them set up. Um, with a, one with a 200 to eight, uh, 400 millimeter lens, f4 lens, uh, for a New York Times talk we did with Steiner Sports, right. which was uh, pretty amazing. It's exciting. It's a, it's a. Uh, I always say this. It almost seems like every year I say this. There's no better time in the world for imaging. Yes. And and I'm so thankful. My company is always there with products that can satisfy all ends of the market. Whether you're just starting out like the camera I have today or pro products, like another product I have today, and everywhere in between, they've got it, and as you said, the cameras today with their, not only their great still image quality, but their video image quality, and the streaming capabilities of what they can do is really revolutionize and change the imaging world. Very, very, very true, I, I, I agree with you 100%. I, I think I want to get one of these, seriously, I'm not kidding, you know, yeah, I'm a professional, but I want this um, because I want to take great pictures of my son, um, and I don't, he's 19 months old, Jack, but I don't really want to take a D800 around everywhere. Uh, plus, it's my professional camera, and if I if it gets banged around a little bit more, it's right. not as good for me. Right. Um, so tell me about the D5500. It's the first camera that you guys have had that's a DSLR with a touchscreen on the back. Yes, it is. It's really nice. You know, we've got a, a long line of D5000 series cameras that have been very popular in the marketplace, both because their size, their performance, and their feature set. So once again, we've, we've made another terrific camera, in my opinion. Using a monocoque structural skin design, we made the camera slimmer, smaller, more portable, and lighter with a really deep grip so it's easy to hold. But what's exciting for me is that on its articulating LCD screen, which articulates 360 degrees, for the first time in a Nikon DSLR, we have touch control. Let's show that to so, the uh, flash cam down there. Right, so we have, if I go to the menu navigation, I can very simply navigate my menu. Once I get in, I can go up and down and navigate through the menu, so really, really easy navigation. During playback, of course, I can go and play back an image, I can swipe, I can pinch, I can zoom, I can do those things that everyone's used to with their smartphones, with the tablets that everyone has. But what's really exciting for me, because this is a Nikon DSLR, and I shoot with the optical viewfinder, is through the touch controls, I can touch the screen and control the focus points, one to 39 focus points, anywhere on the screen I want to compose. I can control things like uh, our grid display or ISO, so it's very handy. Let me and check this out. I, By the way, I like shooting with the optical viewfinder as well, and I, I, I like that you guys still have optical viewfinder. It is the most precise of way of, of viewing, yeah. in my opinion. Plus, on that camera that you have in your hands, we have a brand new 55 to 200 that is really, really compact and uses a retractable design like our 18 to 55, so it's really, really nice. So if you see what I'm talking about, you put your thumb on the on the LCD and move yep. your thumb around, you can actually navigate the different th focus points in the camera. Let me check this out, hold on. This is pretty awesome. I'm liking this a lot. It's also got, you know, a lot of people who grab our cameras always say this, boy that feels like an icon. So in making the camera smaller and lighter, I still think it's one of those cameras you can say, this feels like a Nikon. It's it got that great grip. Well, it's you not, it's, it does feel like a Nikon. Yeah. It really does. It's but solid the thing, without being flimsy. It's compact about, without being too small. 
the thing about Nikon, the feel that you're talking about, you're 100% right. It's It feels great. It's good fit and finish. It's solid build, but it's the hand grip. Yeah. And I don't think there's a more comfortable camera than Nikon out there. Um, and, and so yeah, I and like not that. only that, hey, you know, Michael, that picture. What do you it's think? awesome, isn't it? Check out this picture that Michael just took. It's pretty awesome. One of the things that we've noticed Thank along you, with everybody, you're quite welcome. One of the things that we've noticed, and it's no secret, everybody's taking pictures. There are more people taking pictures than ever before, and people are sharing in ways that we couldn't imagine five and 10 years ago. So we've got a, a, almost our entire lineup of DSLRs are connected in some way. Again, another Nikon DSLR, built-in Wi-Fi. Awesome. So you can send those great images to your smartphone. You can use the smartphone or your tablet as a, a remote shooting, so I you can that. use it there. The ultimate selfie, set up a camera somewhere and control it through your phone or your tablet. It works great, and it's great for sports photographers especially too. Yes. You, you can trigger all sorts of cameras. And then you've yeah. got there, you've got a new 300 millimeter F4 lens. This is truly exciting. So we go from the entry level and enthusiast level with the D5500 yeah. to the pro. And this is the D the D750 now. Oh. I, I introduced this camera with Steve, at, or not with Steve, sorry. I, I thought I did it with Steve Heiner, but I realized I did it in Amsterdam with Nikon Europe oh, uh, at IBC, which uh, was amazing. And I, I did that with the on the uh, Teradex set right. where we did the uh, stuff together there. Uh, yeah, so it is, in, in it is it's an amazing camera. I can yeah. go on for about 12 hours just on the camera. But what we put on the camera today is really exciting as well. We've had in our lineup, of legendary Nikon lenses, a 300 millimeter f4 for over a decade and a half. Well, using phase Fresnel lens technology, you know, the kind of uh, lens elements that you'd see in a, in a lighthouse light, you know, the concentric sure. circles you see. In the lens, we've able to take the 300 millimeter optical design and shrink it by 30% and a pound and a half in weight. Very impressive. So we have four stops of VR image stabilization, our great nano crystal coat, uh, technology to prevent flare and add contrast. It's got ED glass and phase Fresnel lens element to, uh, to round off the whole package. And you're looking at a lens, Michael, that's about the size of the 2470 2.8. It's, it's unbelievable, it's really nice. It feels really good, it's really sharp. Tack I'm going to take sharp, a picture really, here. You really think really I can do a 40, uh, 40 shutter speed and get something still? And with the quality of a camera like a D750 that's just superlative at high ISO, Shooting at f4 in a lens like this is is really a, a really attractive combination. It has no card in it, so we can't show the pictures off. But it, yeah, we were able to do it. It's yeah. really awesome. I really like that. What's that lens going for? It's going to sell for nineteen hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. So I, I got to tell you, first mm -hmm. day and a half so far at CES, we can't keep the lens out of people's hands at the booth. People want it. They are looking for it. The price, not even a conversation. It's like whatever it is, gotta have it. Well, it's. it's I mean, the glass is what makes. I mean, the bodies are great, but the glass is what makes everything. It's really important. I like that, great lens. Um, talk about the megapixels in the, uh, the 5500. Sure, the, the camera that we just showed, the D5500, I segue nicely. Yes, you do, and, um, and I, I love that lens. I think it's phenomenal. Fantastic, it's different than our D750, which is what we call our FX or full frame sensor. We've got our DX or cropped sensor in here. That's what keeps these cameras so attractive. They're small and light. Okay, so this has 24.2 megapixels, but the beauty of this camera, it has no optical low-pass filter on the sensor, so that whatever you're getting, you're getting the pure resolution that comes through Nikkor lenses right to the sensor, no barriers. So Love it. image performance, image quality is super high on the camera. And it's something we, as our customers, are really uh, gravitating to in the last series of cameras we developed. You've got a mic input for audio, sure. uh, for Built the video. Built-in stereo mic, and HDMI then, out. And then you've got HDMI out, and is yeah. it full live HDMI out? It is, yes it is. Wow, Un yeah. that's unbelievable. That is great, the DS, the, <laughs> the DS, <laughs> woo! The D5500, and of course the new 300 millimeter right. F4. Thank you You're so welcome. much for coming by. You're quite welcome. Thank Thanks you for, for taking me. your time. Thank you for showing us these new toys. Everybody's got to check them out. Nikon.com. Nikon's awesome. You know you can get them everywhere. Thank you so much, and, and thank you for Nikon. being such a great ambassador yourself you. on Nikon. We love thank it. Thank you very much. We love Nikon. I love Nikon. Thank you. We'll be back with a whole lot more show here from CES 2015 Live from the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Michael Artsis. Stay with us.